I'm still Paul, still from Method. Uh, for anyone who missed it last time, Method is an experience design firm based in San Francisco, uh, New York, and London. And this is, again, some work that was done out of our London studio. Uh, we're going to talk a little about Lush. So for anyone who doesn't know, I'm going to play a little video that gives a little bit of background, shows a little bit about what Lush is, and the approach that we took for building our site and other products. So our challenge was to create a new brand for Lush, um, really as a framework for making both design and business decisions um, for this great British brand. Initially, they approached us and asked us to make a uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it started as one of those great projects where it was like a tiny little whatever. And as we got to talking with them, it took about 10 minutes, uh, that it needed to be something much more significant, that there was a real opportunity to, to refine what they, what they actually did help them build a website around it, and find other ways to reach out to new customers. So from the core sales data, the core insights that we had from their existing sales, there was a, there was a perception that the brand was really about gifting. It was really about, you know, one, go in the store, get, get a thing for, you know, gift for someone, and then, and then off you go, and maybe don't come back until the next time you need a gift. Which meant that there was a real opportunity to help people understand that Lush is a great pioneer in, in ethical, environmentally friendly cosmetics. The, the way that they make and maintain their products is incredible. They're also advocates for fresh handmade products. Most everything they make is surprisingly not all that dissimilar to food. It's an incredibly fresh process. And that freshness means that those products actually work better and are better for you. So these, the, the chance to really tell the story about these things was important to us. We wanted to show the business in action. We wanted to show why fresh matters. We wanted to help people understand why the products work and, and as well as why the company cares. Why do they do this? Why do they go through this effort? 
And so we did that in three ways. We helped them develop a website, an editorial voice, and a new service. So the website. It was a really interesting process. We, we started by getting a huge amount of the product in the studio and just kind of playing with it. We'd pour it out on desks, we'd crush it up, we'd, we'd touch it, in some cases taste it. It was, a, it was just this great way to familiarize ourselves with, with the stuff. And in the course of this process, we started to really get a sense for just the way that it, it looks on the table was just quite striking and beautiful. So this, this genesis of playing with the product itself gave us a lot of great ideas for how we might represent it on the site. The, the, the motion, the smell, all of that. And we then turned that into the next phase, of, or the, the, we turned that into the, the, the site, a responsive site across multiple devices. It works kind of everywhere. And it was interesting. You can start to see here the, um, the process of showing this work. Uh, you, know, you can see the, the detail there at the top about you know, where it comes from, you know, the, the products that go into it, some user stories, why it matters, really interspersed with the product. We wanted to be able to tell a story for people who were shopping so they understood what they were looking at. The ability to bring a lot of these, this kind of illustrative handmade style into it was very important as well. And again, telling people the story about why Lush does what they do. Additionally, uh, is the product detail page. And this was a great opportunity to show where things come from, how, how they, the exact detailed product, you know, what, what's in it. So we had here showing lavender oil, um, where it comes from, the process of actually making it, videos embedded in there, the packaging, why that matters, all kinds of detail there. Um, and it, it ended up being, a, a, again, a great way to explore. This, this increased a huge amount of time, the time people spent on the site just browsing through this stuff, connecting with the work a little bit more, the product a little bit more. Additionally, we uh, built we wanted to, to tell a much better story and create an editorial voice, so we created Lush Times, which was a, is a quarterly publication that's distributed through the stores. It's a great, uh, it sort of was a really fun project to work on. It was a chance to sort of get, get back into print design again and work with telling the story in a really static way outside of the sales environment, something you could take with you. And some, some great sort of uh, stories through there. Working on the covers are awesome. It was really fun to work with this massive photography in a really interesting way. We uh, globalized a lot of that, trying to localize it into different languages for all the different markets. Lots of great illustrative style, fun, really fun to play with. And then the last component that we worked with was the kitchen. Um, we wanted to create a new service. And again, playing off of this idea of really helping people understand why does freshness matter? And in fact, understanding that, that freshness is a, is a key part of what makes them so unique. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time, again, with, these, with playing with this, this style, this handmade style, the idea that it comes from, from hand, so working with the brand. Um, and, and again, this crazy insight that it's like a kitchen, the way they make this stuff. Like they, it, it smells like food. You get stories all the time from people who are like, I got this in the mail and I kind of wanted to eat it. It smells exactly like fresh mint or it smells exactly like rose. Um, it's, it was just this beautiful process. And so we wanted to highlight that. We wanted people to see that um, how, how that freshness plays out. And in fact, we created this service where you could on demand order a particular piece of, uh, or particular cosmetics that would be made for you within a week and, and sent to you. Um, some examples of just going through the customer journey, some very familiar documentation and stuff that went on the wall. And playing with the, sorry, playing with um, the typeface, developed a custom typeface based on the chalkboards in the store. Um, you know, all the stickers and, and packaging and, and everything else that went along with that. Um, you know, this stuff directly affected the store. It directly affected the way that we sent, sent the work out. And we really tried to bring it all together. So did it succeed? Um, within, uh, with, within a year, we're 20% sales up. The amount of time that people spent engaging with the brand, we think, is directly contributing to this. The fact that people are spending more time just understanding what goes into this. Um, and the Lush Kitchen is already contributing to a 10% um, increase in sales. And so lastly, I'll just kind of quickly rush through this here. Lastly is just the importance of brand as a business driver. We think about brand at Method as, some, as a sort of unique aspect that drives design. It's not just about the logo. It's not just about the identity. It's the decision-making framework that gives us permission to do whatever it is that we do on a project. And in this case, stepping back from the need to build a YouTube channel or a website or all the other things that they needed allowed us to think about what the actual challenge was with that brand. What was the perception? What did people need? And using that brand, we, used, we drove all the way through everything we did. Uh, it, it really ended up being a great business framework as well. So that's what we got about Lush. So thanks so much for uh, 
uh, for your time and appreciate you guys sticking around so late. <laughs>